Uh, I'm Shalini Natraj. I'm the Director of Advocacy and Partnerships with the Global Fund for Women. We ask about the stakeholders, the various stakeholders, what kind of process they have been engaged with, um, and how much the uh, so-called beneficiaries of the project are involved in the decision making. So for example, if, a, if an organization is working with women with disabilities, we really look for how they are engaging directly with those women and having them be part of the organization itself, if possible, or definitely part of the decision making. Because they know best, we strongly believe that uh, in our case, women hold the solutions. They are the ones who are living the reality of their situations. They come up with very creative and innovative solutions. They need to be given the space and the resources to uh, develop those solutions. So we strongly believe that. And if that doesn't happen, we often find that a solution may miss its mark. I think a good leader should always be open to getting ideas in from different, maybe sometimes uh, non-conventional uh, sources. Uh, a good leader should know that nobody knows at all and that there may be somebody out there who has uh, you know, a better idea. I think listening is a very important trait and um, I would say that um, to a certain extent, being able to really garner the respect and trust of the people you work with. But I think a good leader will factor in those periods where, even if it's brief, they can look back, see what the lessons learned are, see what the best practices out there, make those connections, and then from that learning, implement new strategies moving forward. I believe that one develops and builds trust by doing together. So I think the best way is to first show that you're there to listen, that you're there to learn, and then start working together on things where you can demonstrate that you are not working you know, against their interests. And so that's why I believe that if you're working at the grassroots level, it is a long-term project. I think developing that trust-based relationship is crucial, where they can also turn around and say, look, this is what you're doing wrong, and this is how we both can achieve something together.